everyone, I am Tacit and today I'm going to be going over the event objectives for the week of the Bearded Lady event, so let's get into them. First up is the Dragon Horde, gives a lot of gems this week, you get one event gem every single time you get at least 10 turns in Treasure Map. Treasure Map of course is the mini game in Zolkiri, all you need is go to Treasure Map, use a map, play it every turn, 10 turns you get a uh, event gem. You can also get to it just through the mini games tab. As far as the other things that we have to go through is the bonus gold, 500 bonus gold every single time. We use a full team of dwarves. Keep in mind that this text over here just says use a dwarf team. This does mean that your entire team needs to be dwarves. You can use multiple of the same dwarf, but they all have to be dwarves. So let's just go to Broken Spire or wherever you want to explore. Go to explore and this is the team that I have been using for it. Uh, for the most part, many dwarves are pretty weak and I wouldn't really suggest really doing this. Uh, you're better off, uh, you'd get more gold per hour if you were just to do um, PvP. But if you're looking to maybe farm some trade stones this week for whatever reason, uh, you may want to go do it with uh, a all dwarf team, maybe something like this. Oh, it's pretty easy to build, it's just two rares and two of the new uh, event troop from uh, this week. We're using a blue-brown banner. The main reason for this is you have uh, the first two traits on Deep Boar. You have a water link and another water link. So a single blue pair should pretty easily be able to get us uh, up on mana. You can see we get minimum six. And if we get a surge, that would be all nine of the mana we need. And perfect, he gives us a bunch of red. And now we can just cast this and try getting the brown that we need. And we do get it, that will get her up. And we'll just try getting the boar back up and kind of keep going from there. It doesn't look like we have any pairs over there, just double checking. And I don't believe I missed any. And now we can just go for a poke. Um, she does triple damage if she has a higher armor. So you're pretty much going to be one-shotting everything this week. Uh, or even uh, off this week. You'll be able to, in challenges, uh, one-shot everything uh, when using her. So ideally right here we'd want to go for a brown or a blue. But, I mean a, a red or a blue. But neither of which are available. So we'll just have to wait it out. Get it back up. And get the browns we need to be able to one-shot. We'll just take the skull right there. Might as well. 41 shot as well. We can actually take that skull um, too, so we'll go for that. And maybe he'll give us a third skull. Actually, if he doesn't ruin that. Oh, he ruined it. We could have taken that down and that would have given us a skull, but we'll get the mana. We'll be able to get her back up and then that will be uh, the match right there. We'll just use this. Use it over here. Uh, mainly just use it on either the far left or the far right column. This will, in most cases, give you the highest chance. Of getting an extra turn i just do it in whichever one has the least amount of brown in it and there we go so if you want the extra gold this week that's about the easiest way you can do it there are a few others but do keep in mind all four of your troops have to be dwarves uh this deep war actually does count as a dwarf it's a dwarf mech uh there's a dwarf inside of it so that's why it counts as a dwarf and now for the rest of the events we just have extra bonuses uh, 25% for KZL as well as an additional 25% for Dwarves. So if they're the KZL Dwarf, they'll be getting a nice 50% this week. So we're going to be going over two teams right now to kind of utilize uh, the little bit of extra bonuses that we have. So let's go first with... Oh, we have two options. Let's go with this one first. Uh, Great Maul, Deep Boar, Apothecary, and Bone Dragon. This is mainly going to be spamming a lot of brown. Everything on this team creates brown except for Bone Dragon. Bar Bone Dragon, of course, will mainly be using just to kill because of how powerful he currently is right now. Um, so as far as mana taking, we will want to try to get Deep Boar up first if we could. Uh, with the current board setup, we won't be able to do that, so instead we'll just start rushing up uh, the Great Maul. That'll be fine uh, to do as well. So we'll start getting him up. Let's take whatever mana we can. Probably take this purple into that brown. Uh, never mind, Mercy will ruin that, so we'll just have to stick with uh, yellows instead. That's fine. Uh, we don't actually use yellow once we use the Great Maul, but it shouldn't be too big a deal. Uh, we'll have plenty of brown on the board that we'll be able to utilize instead. Fortunately, that does miss. He doesn't have anything left on his team that uses brown, even though he's getting quite a bit of it. And he had frozen twice on the exact same troop, so that's nice for us. Don't have to deal with that. Take the blue. See if we can maybe get a deep boar or cast off. Uh, Valkyrie for the hit. And uh, we can use Apothecary. Apothecary does cleanse all allies whenever you cast it which uh, will get rid of all these freezes and any other status effects that you may have on your team. So uh, it did convert out the um, 
brown so we are going to have to kind of just poke on the board until we can really get that going again we are likely going to use the deep bore into the apothecary because as of this current moment there's no brown literally no brown on the board so we're going to start putting some brown on it and now we should be able to use the apothecary to cleanse everything though we didn't get lucky enough to automatically get a cleanse though we don't even really need to do that we can just go straight into the bone dragon fire up the next apothecary that'll give us bone dragon again and that should be pretty much match if not the match so we'll get our mana there, get up Bone Dragon again, and that is the match. So a little bit slowed at the uh, beginning there, but that's generally how it goes. You just get a really big Great Maul and it plows through everything with your Deep Boar and Apothecary feeding your Bone Dragon the brown he needs to be able to cast. And both of these we are using the same banner for. Uh, it's actually a pretty useful banner. The plus two purple, uh, plus one blue, minus one... Oh, sorry, the plus... <laughs> the plus two brown plus one blue minus one purple so in this team it works particularly good because we don't actually use anything that uses purple this is a all kzl team all kzl still is more towards the weaker side uh one pretty funny thing about all kzl though is we can make an extremely huge tank which is what we're going to be going for uh with this team that we're doing right here we'll be able to get gorgotha up to absolutely huge huge amounts of tank ability and gorgotha does have a 25 percent increase this week and with that granite skin especially if they don't have anything to stun it will be uh, really sufficient in tanking and uh emperina if it ever gets low we'll just be able to use for that our apothecary will be able to do cleanse whenever we need it and of course our main kill will either be through skulls or through the uh, Lady Ironbeard trying to do one shots or close to one shots. Uh, this late in the game, uh, during most stronger teams, this team is actually slightly towards a the weaker side for a three trophy, but uh, we will be able to one shot all of them. There are some teams I come across occasionally where she cannot uh, actually one shot, and those are a little bit more annoying, but um, against this particular team, it should be pretty straightforward because we will be able to go uh, for the one shot. So we'll basically just kind of want to keep spamming around our mana uh, kill out with skulls whenever we can and uh, mainly we'll be wanting to get her up to cast her uh, ability so not much we can do on the board right here I'm actually going to use this on green I'm scared of all the things that he has oriented towards green he has the Venoxia, he has the Lady Arnerial and he has the Web Spinner all focused on needing a lot of green on the board so we're, we're going to want to uh, take that away from him so he won't be able to utilize that uh, we'll throw this down. We can actually one shot. Uh, as long as she has a higher armor than them, she does triple whatever her uh, damage is. And given that she has 50% bonus this week, this is enough to one shot uh, most everything. Uh, so let's actually throw down Emperina. Emperina, of course, if you get the event gems this week, you will be able to get three copies of it for free. You also get one for free if you complete out the Kazil uh, quest line. There's not too many things to use it for. Uh, there's not too many dragon teams either that are really util uh, you can really um, put it in, but uh, it does give a pretty good attack and life bonus as well as cleanse, and it is the only troop in the entire game that can fully heal uh, another troop. So if they are all the way low at like 1 HP, you can bring them all the way up to their max HP, plus uh, give them additional HP on top of that, so pretty big as far as how much healing he can do. He's really good against uh, true damage related decks, which is uh, kind of funny that we end up going against this because Venoxia and Web Spinner are pretty true damage oriented, even though they didn't really get the time to cast. Uh, Emperina would have been pretty good against them if they uh, did start to get any looping going because he could individually start healing every single one of our allies. And right here, it did just poison every single person on our team, but no worries, we have an Apothecary, so a single cast and we get that cleanse right off. Uh, and we still aren't uh, high enough that we can one-shot everything yet with that. That's a bit unfortunate, but uh, we'll be able to kill it out with that skull. Nice. We'll take this other skull, and then all we need to do... Actually, we're not even going to bother with that skull. We're going to distract. We're just going to take this brown, and we'll go straight to it. I didn't want to take that blue because Apothecary would have blocked it. If we got a surge there, it would have been fine, but we can just tap it out. And that is the match. So those are a couple teams that you can use utilizing the bonuses. Uh, as far as using anything with this Kazeo <laughs> uh, Kingdom or as far as any of the dwarves or anything like that, uh, I wouldn't really advise it that much. For the most part, they are towards the weaker side. Gorgotha is about the only really thing, good thing that you'll be able to utilize. Uh, Gorgotha, Deep Boar, and Apothecary. Those three are the only three. Uh, and as far as farming gold with the uh, event this time, 
Uh, there's really no point in doing this for the most part. Uh, the amount of time that you will spend in here, you can actually get more gold from PvP. If you were doing this for trade stone and gold, it would work. But if you're doing it just for gold, I would not advise using an all dwarf team and uh, explore. It wouldn't really be efficient compared to that of PvP. But anyways, that will wrap it up for this video. I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any other questions about anything related to the game or the event, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and have a a wonderful day.